well, listen, you've been calling me for the last three or four days now. I mean, I understand you are you are in financial straits. You're having problems right now. But I think the most important thing for you is to actually learn how to get an emergency loan with no job, no bank account. So in today's conversation, that's what I, I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about an emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval. How do you get a massive amount come rain or shine? Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval. How do you get a massive amount, come rain or shine? Okay, before I start here, I want to give you a disclaimer. This lenders that I'm going to talk to you about, they charge high APRs, okay? So you have to be very careful about the lender that you choose, okay? We're not talking about APRs of uh, 15% or 20%, okay? They will charge you a lot. So I, I, I just need to have this disclaimer because it's important that people don't actually go to, to any kind of lender, okay? So here are the steps that you need to follow. First, you need to uh, seek lenders that provide emergency loans with no job, no bank account. You, you got to be very clear, right? Because, I mean, you you can't just go to a, a bank or a credit union and say, you know what, I, I want a loan. I, I have no job and uh, no bank account, whatever. And can you please help me out? They will not listen to you. So you have to be very specific about which lenders that you are talking to. Okay. We have done the homework for you and we have a few lenders that will actually look into your application, even if you have uh, no job and no bank account. So we have Viva Loans. You can see on the screen. So Viva Loans, you can borrow from $100 to $5,000 with them, and you can pay the, the money over 2 to 24 months, okay? And you can get your cash today. So that's one. You have Credit Ninja. With them, you can you can borrow $100 to $5,000. Or, or they can also uh, give you the cash within 24 hours. They're really fast too, though, okay? You have Green Day Online. There's another lender, and uh, here you can borrow, minimum you can borrow is $100. Okay, and they can get you the cash within eight hours. Okay, depending on where you live. But one thing you want to do is you you have to call them first because you know the banking is a, is a state affairs, right? It's regulated at the state level, so they might have different loan amounts and loan conditions for the state you live in. You also have Bad Credit Cash ASAP. Here's another lender. Okay, Bad Credit Cash ASAP. So here you can borrow up to five thousand dollars with them. We're talking about emergency loan no job no bank account okay and you also have lend you with lend you you can borrow up to twenty five hundred dollars so we're talking about one one hundred to twenty five hundred dollars okay and the cool thing is that you also they don't need no collateral no guarantor from you bad credit is also okay one thing i need to i need to say is that uh they're not a direct lender though lend you is not a direct lender so you need to clarify rates and terms with the company you are matched with okay you also have Instant Loans USA. With this lender, you can borrow up to $35,000 in emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval. Okay, They have a minimal basic requirements, no collateral. If you have bad credit, that's fine. But please, pay attention to the interest rates. They have higher interest rates also. Make sure that you are comfortable with the interest rates. So the first step was what you need to identify the lenders that provide emergency loans with no job, no bank account. The second thing I want you to pay attention to, boss, is your cash position. Now, you might be thinking, well, why, why is he talking to me about my cash position if I'm looking for a loan? Well, the thing here is that when you apply, when you actually send your application to the lender, you need to clarify your, your cash position. Why? Because you are asking them to give you money. Okay. You have no bank account. You have no job. The question is, how are you going to repay them? 
That's a big question because you're just thinking that they're just going to give you cash just like that. No, no. So you have to be very careful about how you talk about your liquidity level. OK, because they will ask you anyway. The thing is, you have to think about two things. How much money do you have right now or that you could potentially have? Because maybe you don't have the cash now, but maybe uh, one or two weeks from now, you will have it because you're waiting for a payment or, a, you know, whatever. So you got, you got to be very careful here. So they will ask you, what's your source of income? You got, you got to clarify that. You got to tell the lender, hey, listen, I don't have a job, but I'm generating income because you, you got to generate income from somewhere. Otherwise, you can't live, right? I mean, this is not like, you no know, no free lunch or no dinner or whatever. No, no free dinner. No. So you got to explain your source of income. Maybe you're getting alimony. You're getting child support. You're having the spousal support. You're getting money. You're getting a check from your retirement, maybe Social Security payments, a pension check, or maybe you're getting dividends or investments, whatever. I mean, capital gains, whatever. But you have to tell the lender your source of income. We are talking about legit income, though. We're not talking about some kind of fuzzy, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, crazy uh, income. No, we're talking about legit income. Okay. You also have to talk about how often do you receive income? Do you are you on a weekly basis, bi-weekly, you know, monthly, whatever? I mean, the thing is, the lender needs to have a clear idea of uh, of your liquidity level, how often you get paid, so they can extend you the cash. And the thing is, if you don't have a a bank account, the question is, where is your cash parked, boss? Where is your cash at? Because you gotta have something. You, you can't just be walking around with your you know, being broke all the time, you got to generate some, some kind of money. So where's your cash at? Where is it? If it's not, a, it's not at a bank. So where is it? You want to answer that question. You, you don't have to tell me, but you have to make sure you tell the lender that. The third thing I want you to pay attention to, boss, if you want to be approved for an emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval, you actually have to think about the repayment strategy you got to have a repayment plan okay i don't know what kind of situation you're going to right now i don't know if you have a job or you are you doing side gigs or you just uh, you're hustling whatever whatever you're doing you must be generating you must be generating some kind of some kind of income okay it has to be legit though I, i'm actually really i want to emphasize that now how do you plan on repaying the loan that's a big question for you that's the one million dollar question for you right so they, they're just because the lender is not they don't actually they want to give you the cash and then start playing you know then you start playing games with them they call you you don't pick up the phone and then they have to hire a collections agency to chase your sorry ass your, your broke ass that's a lot of a lot of expenses they don't want that so they're trying to cover their ass too okay so you have to think about how you plan on repaying the loan Again, I don't care where, where you get the, ca the cash from, but you have to be in a position where you can explain to the lender, hey, listen, here is where my cash is coming from, and here is how I'm going to repay you, okay? So how much can you afford to repay? I mean, we're talking about emergency loans all the way to 5000 in some cases $35,000, that's for instant loans. And so the thing is, if you get $5,000, how are you going to repay it? How much can you afford to repay? Do you have a budget? Talk to me about your budget, boss, Okay. So this is important. And the question is, what other debt do you currently have? Are you currently, do you currently have other debts? Maybe uh, you just, uh, you just uh, having a, a tough time right now. But the thing is, you, you need to have a strong, you need to have a strict inventory of your, of your debts, of your obligations, right? We're talking about monetary obligations, not just some kind of obligation, whatever. But my point is, what is your DTI, your debt to income ratio? Because your debt to income ratio, you know what it is? That's where you actually take your debt payments, right? And you divide that by your income. So let's say you are, you, you, right now you're, you, you're paying like $1,000 in debt, you know, every uh, every month and you're making 3000 So your debt to income ratio is 33%, right? 1000 divided by 3000 multiplied by 100 And this is kind of cool. I mean, you, you want, your DTI should be around 35% or less, okay? So, but the bottom, the, the big question is, how are you going to repay the loan they're giving you? You have no bank account. You have no job. Talk to me about that. Talk to the lender about that. The fourth thing, because I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Hey, hey, you, you. Yeah. 
you have to think about eligibility. See, the thing here is that you are simply because they, they're not asking you no job or no bank account. It doesn't mean you can get the cash for free. You got to you have to be very careful about that. So this kind of loans are pretty risky. You have to you have to think about the fact that the lender is taking a big risk by actually advancing the funds to you, because, you know, I'm telling you, they got to cover their ass, too. They have to cover their ass. OK. And how did they do that? They actually ask you to provide specific documents. This is very important. So you, you first na you first have the loan application itself. So if you apply it online, you know, they have to uh, they, they will collect some data from you. The first name, last name, whatever, you know, you need to provide proof of identity. OK, it could be your driver's license, other state issued ID, your passport, your your certificate of citizen, uh, citizenship. Your birth certificate, if you are in the military, military ID. OK, they'll ask you to provide proof of address. This is also important because, hey, the thing here is that um, the, the lender wants to show that wants to know that you have a stable living situation. This is very important. So they might ask you to provide proof of your of your of your address, including a recent utility bill, a copy of your lease or other rental agreement, voter registration card or proof of income. Now, you you the thing if you if you have auto insurance, you can also actually uh, show that. But the big question here is that you need to actually study the requirements of the loan that you want to be uh, you, that you want to apply for. OK, every loan is different. So once you actually zero a on the zero in on the 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 loan that you need the emergency loan that you need you have to study the requirements and see how you can actually meet them don't be scared it's not about just like you know what no the, the, you know this and for me this is too complicated and whatnot no the thing here you want to sit down you want to put down the list of requirements and see okay this check this check this check. so you go through the list of requirements one by one and the cool thing is that if you have uh, doubts or you have uh, you're confused pick up the phone and just give them a call you know they're not gonna bite you or whatever they'll just explain everything they everything you need to know about the loan that before applying and this is even better because then that way you can actually avoid any surprises once you are you know once you are through the uh, the application process itself very important <music> One thing also you need to have, if you are trying to get an, an emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval, you got to think about your tax returns. Oh yeah, boy, 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 boy. Son, daughter, or, are you listening to me? You probably, right now you have a, I, I would call it a delicate situation, right? Quote unquote, delicate financial situation. You, you are just trying to do a lot of stuff to make ends meet. I, I get that. I get that. But my question to you is, have you filed your tax returns in the last two to three years? In other words, are you complying with uh, your fiscal responsibilities and your fiscal duties? Because the lender might ask you to, to provide your 1040s for the last two to three years. Why? Okay, think about it. You're asking for an emergency loan, no job, no bank account. Okay. you telling the lender that you are making $5,000 a month. Okay. Hmm. Where is that money going to? And where is that money coming from? And the, and the bigger question is, are you actually declaring that cash to the authorities? This is why they want you to they want they want to see your 1040s for the last two, the last two, three years. So be ready to provide that kind of uh, information. They also might want to verify whether you you are a single file, a single filer or a joint filer, because the thing is that if you tell them that you actually filed jointly, that means there is another person in your life. There's another person in your household. And the bigger question is, why is that person not applying with you and not co-applying with you or co-borrowing with you and you are on your own, right? So you have to understand when we talk about risk mitigation, you know, this is what I call in uh, regular language, in formal language, you know, ass covering because the lender has to cover their ass. They are mitigating risk. That's how experts say it. You have to mitigate risk. You have to mitigate credit risk. And the thing for them is that they need to actually corroborate. They need to confirm the income that you show on your tax returns for the last two to three years to so the income that you put on your on your loan application. This cross checking is very important because, it, again, they're trying to validate data that you put that you set to them at, at one point, uh, one point in time. OK, and remember that they will look at your income taxes paid, the amount and how it was paid. OK, because if you have no bank account, how did you pay the government? If you had a refund, it's okay. But if you had if you had a tax bill, how did you make that payment? 
okay and they'll also see whether you have a, a refund or a tax or so overall your tax returns provide i would say um hmm, a window into your financial situation i'll be right back but after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about emergency loan, no job, no bank account, fast approval. How do you get things real fast? How do you get approved real fast? So I spoke to you about seeking the right lender, beefing up your cash position, having a repayment plan, making sure that you meet eligibility requirements, making sure that you have your tax returns available, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to think about your FICO score. Oh, well. This is really important. Grandpa, grandma, are you listening to me? We need to have a serious conversation about that because, hey, listen, you, you have no job, no bank account, but you do have a FICO score. Okay, so what's up with your FICO with, with, with your FICO score? Is it stellar? Is it is it rosy? Is, is it positive or rather negative? Talk to me about that. Okay, and so the thing here is that you you first want to, to actually get your FICO score for free in um uh, you know, you can go to annualcreditreport.com. Okay, so, so the the site is annualcreditreport.com, or you can actually um you can go to a lot of places online and offline to get your credit score for free. Of course, you have Discover credit card. Discover you don't need to be a, a member or customer rather, not a member, a customer to get your FICO score. Okay, banks most banks offer that service as well. You have credit card companies, credit unions, auto loans, student loans, credit counselors also. Okay, one thing you need to understand here is that it's important to to remember that when we talk about your FICO score, you are looking at 300 all the way to 850, with 850 being exceptional. So where are you at right now? Where are you on the credit on the FICO score bandwidth? I mean, or or ben, I mean, you know, you you have to have a clear idea of what your FICO score is. This is important. And once you have a clear idea of what your FICO score is, make sure that you increase it gradually. You increase it reflexively. Increase it systematically. This is really important. Pay your bills on time. Use credit responsibly. Avoid applying for too many lines of credit within a short time. So this is what really, what really dips your credit. Okay. Check your credit reports regularly and avoid closing credit accounts. What I'm trying to say here is that if you are looking for an emergency loan, no job, no bank account. You have to be in a specific situation. I'm talking about financially speaking so that you can qualify real fast for this sort of loan. Before I close today's conversation, let me share with you a few pro tips that we have accumulated over 30 years of uh, talking about this. And uh, one thing I want to say here is that if you want to get a personal loan, especially an emergency loan, no job, no bank account, you have to be very, very careful about the timing. Okay, the timing is it's important, and uh, the way you apply. Obviously, you sh you should check your credit score. You need to take steps to improve your score. You can decide how much you want to borrow. You can use lender pre qualification to shop around for competitive rates. You can submit a formal loan application. That's if you are looking for an emergency loan with a job and with a bank account. But if you want, if you have no job, no bank account, you have to start early by talking to the lender directly. Please pick up the phone, pick up the phone and talk to the lender. Explain your situation to them so that you at least you have someone who understands your, your situation and can work with you. This is so important. Uh, we always say here on this show that credit is a game and you need to understand how the game is played to qualify for all the credit cards and loans that you actually uh, apply for okay and the one thing i also want to say here is that you if you are denied okay if you are denied for this emergency loan no job no bank account okay you want to ask for this, the specific reason why your you your application was rejected right so that you can actually learn from it and not make the same mistakes in the future and you, you can review your loan application for mistakes or inaccuracies. Yeah, this could also happen. Usually, these loans, you, you can only apply online. So, the, um, the the likelihood of errors is kind of low, but they do happen, okay? 
You want to improve your credit score by paying down your current outstanding debt. This is also possible. You want to check for mistakes in your credit report because, hey, listen, your emergency loan will be approved or denied based on information in your credit report. You want to increase your income. This is something you have to do in the me in the medium term, right? And uh, always try to compare lender requirements. Always. And you can always, always apply for a lower a lower loan amount, smaller loan amount. Okay, so really, for instance, if you want to, you know, you want to consider also using a cosigner if that's allowed. So let's say you want you you are sinking four thousand in emergency loans, and you just you're asking anybody and everybody, and nobody seems to know exactly, you know. So you can actually lower the limits, the loan amount. If you want twenty five grand and you can't get twenty five grand, go for one thousand. Okay. <music> Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about emergency loan, no job, no bank account, how to get a high limit with fast approval. First, lenders. Pay attention to lenders. Number two, your cash position. Number three, repayment. Number four, eligibility. Number five, tax returns. Number six, FICO score. Number seven, pro tips. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>